Hello guys, how are you doing? So excited to, to, to this new format that I'm going to do on YouTube in most of the videos. Remember, I'm going to upload the best video of the series, in my opinion, of course. But remember that below the video, below the video, yeah, yeah, below the video, in the description, there's the full series. So if you don't want to get spoiled and you want to watch the full series, you have that option. You have that option. I'm doing this because for the YouTube algorithm, it's better, smaller, shorter videos. You know, hopefully you, you enjoy with the new system. In some situations, I will do the full series, but I will let you know always before the upload. Don't forget, please, to subscribe, thumb up, and leave it a commentary. But subscribe is so damn important. Thank you for watching, guys. We love this game. Whoa. There we go, guys. This is game number three. And it's going to be... What is going to be? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, let's go and see. Because this is a starting. And it's going to be... Mayans Berbers Vietnam Slavs. Well, Mayans are so dangerous in this in this map. And Berbers can be a great combination. So honestly, I really think that now Nelly and Jordan should have the victory here. Because they got, in my opinion, better sips. It's true that Vietnam can be amazing. Can be amazing. And Slavs is a very dangerous and solid civilization too. So it depends really how they play. But uh, Mayans can, can go really fast imp here or in a castle to marches and they have the mobility it's true that you can make a castle and then rat with uh, with vietnam too because this golden pit remember and they they they, they, they just change a little bit the terrain it seems but it's a pretty no map you can't build anything in these areas and then at home you got two small goals i say small because they got three small piles there's not a big main goal at all and two stones you know and the map is a little bit more open than it was but still, it's wallable. Ratitas presumidas archers. Do you like it, Walter the Conqueror? Well, Magmuda is a cool badge. <laughs> we, are, we are trying to add some cool, some new cool stuff. So for people that is tier 2, tier 3 subscribers, they got something special in, in the chat. Yes, they do. Okay, and... Well, he's going for... For the board, this is gonna be a standard three, four village on wood. I wonder what they will do. They will go someone for fast castle directly. Hopefully, they will go for some army. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna be. But the problem is that there's no lame. They don't let a lame in the tournament. I mean, without lame is like, well, with like a garden without flowers or, well, or or life without a scarlet, you know. Can they slink? I think so, that they can slink. I didn't see any rule about or against slink, so I believe that they can, which I'm not sure, but still. Remember that for the tournament, if I'm not wrong, capture age will be available, so we will be, it will be a little bit easier to, to, to cast. And for now, we can see here population, village, idle, military, and kills that. I will change sometimes to check the, the resources, but this is the most interesting. Since we all know that around 22 they will go up, and if this is not happening, then they go for Castellage or some trash. It's doing the mill. I like that mill because that village is protected and able to get uh, lame it, but he has the loom, so it wouldn't be a problem. Also, you can drop the foot really good like this. Okay, both gold forward for Jordan is bad. I like that green got all at the back. Then yellow also two golds for. Well, well, this on a side, not ideal. Stone at the back as well. Another stone forward. And Nil is already trying to explore the situation. Nilly map is great because he got the very stone on a side, but stone and two golds are at the back. And I believe that Dogao is trying to explore exactly that. Okay. Fog of War. And now he's gonna find it. Absolutely everything. Remember that with Vietnam, he can see the tone centers. You see stone and gold. Okay. Love this music, guys. By the way, I'm starting on YouTube a series of tutorials. I'm going to analyze all 35 civilizations. 
All the openings with the sieves, I will do in alphabetical order. I have already the first tutorial with the Aztecs, with the five malicious transitions and possibilities with the Aztecs, you know? And it will be on YouTube very soon. And I will try to, to make this for everyone, for the basics, if you don't know anything. And also, I will comment there what is the possibilities on you are in feudal castellage, you know? With data, with graphics, and with everything, you know? And uh, I'm telling you something. I have watched the video already, and it's uploaded. It's uploaded, guys, on the YouTube in 4K resolution, 60 frames per second. When you see, when you see that video, if you have a 4K monitor, you're going to enjoy a lot because the quality is just insane, insane. Yeah. Is my first 4K 4K video I did this morning. So if you thought that I was taking a, a free day, I was working in all this stuff, amigos. I was working in all this stuff, trying to improve every day. And a uh, couple of people in the chat have seen the video. Not finished, just a little bit, so they can tell you guys if if it's really nice or not. Yeah. Okay. Now, now you can tell if you saw it, amigo. Well, if you have 1440, you can see YouTube let you put in a 1440p resolution. Why we are talking about this? Well, first, because I want you to go and subscribe on YouTube. And second, because they are walling all the fucking map. All the map. Walling completely. You know? He's up already with 22 population. That eagle destiny died because the scout is now in feudal. So he has the plus two extra attack. Okay. And... There you go. Archie range. Well, you multi D tutorial videos are not for experts. Are for for new people or people that want to improve. Experts don't need tutorials. <laughs> Do you know? The tutorials is for for the for the majority of the people because remember that experts are the minority. So that's why. Anyway, Archie range, another Archie range. Okay. No, Hazard, you don't need to watch my videos. You need to study those because, man, you are like the real Hazard in, in football. A completely noob, man. Stay tuned. Anyway, guys, um, even Team Walls, even Team Walls, they are doing. Oh my god. Well, they are walling all the map. They are walling all the map. Ay, ay, ay. Well, with wall like this, I'm surprised that we are not gonna see some sling. Maybe I have missed something, but look at this. Now, he's walling completely. And guys, it's sad to see, but there is no action at all. They are walling and nobody attack. Walling, walling, and walling. Yeah. That's why well, I usually prefer 3v3 because in 3v3 these kind of things, it's more rare to happen. Because you, you always have to be more careful. A pocket can come and make the damage. But here, since it's only two players, these kind of situations can happen pretty often actually. He's doing, like you can see, an amazing build order. Class B, double RG range, wall in all. We'll have how much army? To go seven army, nearly seven army as well, with one billion more because he's Mayan, so he's keeping the advantage being with the Meso Sith. And now the scouts, more scouts for Green than Jordan. Yes, Miguel seven, Jordan three. Wow, he got so many scouts. Is Jordan only doing three? Then if they take a battle, they will lose so badly because here Miguel should be just careful and all. The thing is, let's see. How Jordan is gonna transition to Castleage and how is gonna be also Miguel. Miguel should be slower. He's doing a lot more scouts. But now, if they take a bad battle with the scouts and archers, they might get inside easily. They are being too greedy. And I'm telling you something. If they take a bad battle, he might go up to Castleage quick. But then you can get destroyed. Oh boy, let's see the archer, he's gonna go, yes, look at that micro, good reaction, finally some 
action attempt. He lost the scout. Now need to be careful. But guys, the military numbers is much, much better. And the archers are with more HP. Oh my god. He has to be careful. There is no scout. If you think about battle... Oh man, oh man. You have to be careful. He got the heal advantage. That's the good thing. He can't take the battle because he has the, the heal advantage. Those scouts... No. He's going back. What is, it? What is gonna happen here? You have to be careful. Heal advantage, but the scouts are in between he's just look how they are trying to get the hill no matter what but if they take now the battle they're going to kill absolutely everything they're going to kill absolutely everything oh man yeah well the archers are doing a really good job but now like i told you they kill all they just kill everything absolutely everything no army left for nearly and jordan jordan he didn't have the resources, now he's on the way to Castellis, but if they get inside now, what they can do? Jordan is up to Castellis, but eh, Miguel will go soon. Has to be careful, he's gonna try to kill those archers. Archers plus one, plus one as well. He's trying to micro, it's better and easier to micro with those, because they have more HP. Remember, those archers 36, 30 HP, so they keep killing, but if they don't get inside, then Jordan should dominate here. Because he's, he's, he's on the way to Castle Age. But all the walls are saving Germany. Doing another archer range. Okay. He's now doing the bloodlines. Red is on the way to Castle Age as well. Okay. That's a good transition to Castle Age too. And what about yellow? He's not yet going. He's gonna mine more gold? Why there? Just make the second mining camp. I don't understand this mining camp. It's risky. And it's not needed. Well, he got so many arches. Of course, they got a lot of farming while Germany got no army at all. And they are just walling, walling and walling. You can see how Miguel is on the way to Castellage and Dogao is about to go up. They are trying to kill... He can get inside? I think this is trees after this. Or not. Well, I'm not sure. We cannot see it properly. He's coming with three villages. He's gonna make it in the market probably. Yeah, they got no army, man. At the moment, it seems that the difference between both teams is really big. He's doing another house. Now he's gonna kill the villagers. No, he can't. But it's... Well... Michi walls! Oh! Oh! And Dogao do not notice! La 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 la! Dogao still do not notice this can be a disaster! Because there's a, a hole! A beautiful hole. Okay. But look at Nelly Walls. Solid. I mean, Nelly definitely is won't be housed in this game. I mean, Nelly will never... This is open. Here is a hole. I'm telling you. Here is a hole. He's not going... Okay, here is not a hole. <laughs> I'm not telling you. It's not a hole. Okay? <laughs> a la mierda. Okay, let's see. Now coming with the knights. But the slabs. Slabs. Berries can also add camels. Well, not a hole, not a hole, not a hole. No, 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 no. It's not a hole. I'm not telling you anymore. But this is open, guys. They flare already because he's open. And this can be a disaster because he didn't check. But the problem is, and then if you want to go, even if you want to go, he has a lot of farming. Yes. So let's see what is going to happen. I can't believe that he do not notice. Seriously, do not notice. So many crossbows. Now Dogao is gonna be in Castle Age. That he has Ballistic? I don't think he has the resources. Now he's doing. And that's solid. Castle Age, but he's flirting. Jordan is telling, go, man. Go. This is... This is open. Go. I'm gonna focus on Dogao. Fog of War. Let's see. He's trying to go in around university because ballistic is gonna be crucial. Now he see this, but Neil is doing wrong. Why he's going here? Just go around and get through the hole. Now he's in front, not gonna make any damage. Look at the score difference because they got a lot more army, 31 army. Well, Miguel is the same than Jordan and same village. The game at the moment is close, but if they take a bad battle, it can be a disaster. And I'm telling you something, 35 villages, 35 HP, sorry, 42. It's still not huge, but he's, he's 7 HP more. And now, he's going to attack. He got plus 2 armor even, ballistic and plus 2 armor, that's so good. 
he need to be careful because he got ballistic. He need to go away. The nice plus two. Nice for Jordan. Plus one, plus two. No. Not plus one attack. Doing a tone center in the middle. Look at the light. He's doing a massive damage because those are scout that should be should be useless in Castle H. And he's making a really good trade. Okay. He's still open, by the way. Yeah. But they never got that advantage. That's that's really bad. Anyway, Dogao 35 army, late 24. Velez is still Miguel now getting the lead. I'm telling you, Miguel with knights is a beast. It's always so good. Let's see, because he usually play really, really strong. But Berbers, Berbers and Jordan with double stable, three TCs. It should be fine. I mean, it should be great because Berbers are so cheap. Now he's coming with the knights. Jordan has... 17 units, Miguel only 12, so he's doing more army right now. It's true that the army from uh, Miguel is a little bit stronger, but that TC will protect those gold miners and the crows are there. He need to go back. He's not doing. That was a little bit sloppy when the lead will be down. But now with the crossbows, this battle is going to be better for Brazil 100%. Because Dogal is going to kill a lot with those crossbows. Why? Because he got more... And he got... No, no. They have the same upgrades. What I don't know is if they do Thumbrain. Do they have Thumbrain? No idea. Let's see the micro from both players. Nelly or Dogal. Well, HP is better for, for those archers. So, and more stables. Miguel is going to add more and more knights. This game is definitely the closer. But they didn't take yet a single battle. And I have the feeling that when they take a battle, it's going to be over. Because Dogal got so many crossbows. They are just getting... More and more units inside. Miguel, 60 bellies already. 61. Getting already 7 bellies more. It's insane. I mean, it's just insane how with 3 tone centers both, still getting more and more. Even when berries are cheaper, it's also true that this last economy. More food, guys. More food. So he can afford more knights and more bellies. Siege wars up. Well, this can be good. But at the same time, you get behind in economy. So Nili now is gonna fall even more in economy. And you can see he's four villages behind already, but he has one, two tone centers, okay. And Nili, two TCs as well. I see only one, right? Yeah, only one TC, that's not good. He's gonna make a TC here. I don't know if he's gonna be able to do it. We see now Dogao. And nearly getting closer in military does a lot. Remember that the arches are cheaper. So let's see if he's going to be able. He's coming with so many crossbows. So many knights. The mangonel is there. I insist that the siege. I'm not convinced when there's so, so many units. Obviously, if you make a bada boom, it's going to be huge. But now let's see if you're going to get the battle. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's see this battle. It's super close. The mangonel is there. They don't want to take the battle now. Going back. Plus one, plus two. Remember that now plus one, plus two as well for Jordan. Need to go back. The mangonel is... Threaten the army. It's gonna make a big threat or not. He's killing. Man, but those Vietnam archers are so strong. He's coming with two mangonels even. Wow. Well, he need to make the damage. Now he make a good shot. He didn't kill the units, but of course low HP. They are not taking the battle. Yeah, they are dancing. They are dancing. They are dancing. But take the battle. Man, they are not attacking anymore. They are just all trying to go, but they don't engage. The mangonels are gonna be there to, to make the difference. The score is almost the same. The game definitely by far the best game of, of this series till now. But this battle is a good one for Germany. I'm not sure anymore. Look at the crossbows. He got the heal. It's a good one. The two mangonels. You need to kill those. Ooh. But Dugao playing insane. And guys... Well, Jordan catch up in Villiers. Great. Great job there by Jordan. And Dogao and Nelly are not super behind in the economy, which is good. And he's good also. Well, now he needs a second TC, so he will stabilize. Three mangoes, guys. Three mangoes now. That Sea Watch job is not going to be up. He's doing a second one on the right side. That TC is now being denied. And now the siege is helping. But, guys, I'm afraid. Of the Gao archers. He's gonna be able to kill the Mangonas or not. He has to be careful. Be careful with that TC. Don't get in the range. The knights are coming. It's plus two, plus two. No. Didn't make the upgrade, but now he's doing the upgrade. Nelly is doing now. He killed one Mangonal. It's good to sacrifice those knights to kill the Mangonal. Will Barrow only now for Nelly is 
not the greatest, but he's focusing on building the army, and now they're going. They are going to take the battle. Let's see, let's see. Two mangroves, so many crossbows. Who's gonna take this battle? Oh boy, oh boy. So many crossbows, so many knights, so many arses. Now they are taking the battle, and he's gonna win. Oh my goodness. Who is taking this battle? It's gonna be Brazil. Don't count. Killing like a beast. Jordan is doing a good job, but man, I don't know. Those Dogao archers are doing a massive damage, but Jordan, Jordan killed all the knights from Miguel. Jordan did an amazing engagement there. Look at the score from Miguel. Miguel lost absolutely everything, but now nearly don't lose those archers. Wow. Look at Jordan, how he took all. Obviously, Nili was helping with so many crossbows. And that battle, even if they lost the mangonels, it was a solid one. But guys, Dogao, he's a beast, man. He's a fucking beast. Now Dogao is gonna come with villains and gonna make a castle. There you go. Where? Well, not on his face. Sadly, it's not on his face. It's in his own face. We cannot use the emoticons yet. Not yet. But... Anyone going to go up to him? Not Nilly. Obviously not Green. Jordan, not Jordan. Togao is just playing so damn good. There's one mangle. We need to kill those. He's gonna be able to kill it or not. Boom, 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 boom. Ba -ba -boom, boom. He's gonna kill it. Open formation. Sweet. Sweet move. This castle, this castle is, is huge. Is huge if they do it. Because now I don't know anymore. Coming with more. The siege at the end is being the Ooh the micro man. Man, Miguel. Miguel is losing a lot. A lot. But Jordan as well. Now the archers look at Dogao, man. Dogao is just taking the game. Dogao made the castle. He's killing absolutely everything. Even if you can see that the score is close, Dogao's score is exploding because this crazy Vietnam with those arches and the amount of units he has is insane. But guys, check, check Jordan Boom. Is this the old Jordan? It's really getting there because Jordan Boom right now is incredible. 104 villages. 104 villages for Jordan. He got 24 billions more than Miguel. Are you gonna be able to, to, to dominate because that economy difference should be... Well, it is. Definitely in another level. Okay. He's now need to move. He's going to go around. He's gonna raid, man. He does have army to hold. Miguel 10 army. Jordan 20. But Dogao 60. 60 archers. 60 archers walling. You need to wall, obviously. But you need to wall also here. Oh my god. He's not gonna wall. He's walling now. Yes, but guys, I'm telling you, those archers from Dogao are you insane. Nearly is on the way to Imperial. And that's so, so big. Yes. But nearly got 77 villages. Dogao 83. Well, not so, so much difference. And Dogao is up to Imperial as well. Who is taking this castle. Is probably, probably gonna take the game. Because we'll lose the middle control. The middle control. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yes. Well, Mayans are Mayans. But Vietnam with those crazy arches are going to be just huge as well. Who is gonna be up first? Green, green a hundred population. Blue, look at Jordan economy. He's on the way to Imperial Age. Man, on the way to him, but now nearly don't lose the army, don't lose the army. Oh my god, nearly, 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 nearly. You need the army in Imperial, because if not, Dogao, look at the score from the Brazilian. Dogao is gonna do a lot of damage, a lot of damage, obviously. Jordan with the Cavaliers might do the difference as well. Slavs, he's still far from going up, but now he's gonna start to kill that village advantage. Jordan is still 120 villages. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is this? But why you are killing stables, kill villages? I can't deal with this. Anyway, remember one thing super important bombard cannons. But man, Germany should win this game. I don't know what you think. I mean, the timing for him, it's really, really big with the slash. I mean, Miguel will never go up at this point. He, he's so behind. Really, really behind. He's coming out with the arches. The problem is that Dogao got 76 army. I mean, 76 armorless. Are you for real? 
76 armor is gonna kill now everything they need to attack now they notice that nil is in him if they take the battle now nil is gonna lose everything i know the castle here that's huge because they will have two players in him now so many arts is gonna take Ooh, but there's still a lot of units a lot of units now he's going back he's going back the momentum here who's gonna win this game we will see miguel is still far from everything at least they still taking gold 55 farmers only while jordan guys 56 farmers 170 population and uh, definitely this is one of the best games i have seen jordan playing till he's coming back he's gonna be an oath so be an oath because those are going to be cavaliers plus four but man Dogal got so many units and i'm telling you something neil is trying to defend that he can't now Ooh. He doesn't want to lose it, that. Don't want to lose the Knights. How it is Slavs? Is Slavs going to go up? I can't believe that he's not up yet. 133. Oh my god. Now Dogao is killing a lot of arches. Nearly with 38 military. Well, it's okay. Because Jordan got 50 Cavaliers. <laughs> this is going to be scary. Scary, absolutely. Need to repair that castle. Two trebuchets. And that castle need to go down. The Cavalier is going to be there. Is Knights versus potential calves they are plus four already the arbol is one help the arbol is one help they will help but not gonna be a note because nearly is coming he's getting the kill nearly is gonna lose a lot look at those arches he's trying to attack he knows that he needs to get that engagement i don't know if this is a good one this jordan should take everything let's see need to go back but jordan can't go alone don't go alone amigo if he's going alone ooh, but he's missing the chemistry now the, the knights man the teamwork is crucial the castle is going to be up he's gonna take the castle i don't know look at this they are not going together knights and crossbows he's gonna take the battle or not he's not taking super intense but now the trap is going down the castle the castle is going to be down he need to repair he's not doing light gaps are coming he repaired a little bit <laughs> this is super intense and miguel is now on the way to imperial age nobody is repairing the castle he's under the castle the amount of farming he got to go is insane but now nearly got a lot and jordan a lot of cavaliers this is game for germany is the 2-1 and jordan is playing you just a spectacular game because he has been in a huge advantage with Miguel. He just dominated big time and the timing and the momentum was for Germany. And Jordan and Nelly are just taking the game. Whoa! Well, the boom Jordan did in comparison with Miguel was just brutal. They took a really bad battle and then Jordan didn't need to create more knights. So Miguel needed to make more and more knights with less villages and he couldn't ever catch up. And definitely they did a great battle together and took the game in the middle. That was a really nice play together by Nelly and Jordan. But Jordan here got a much better micro, much better micro than Miguel. And the most important, the macro difference was just brutal. We'll see in the statistics, military. Jordan did 61 largest army. 61 largest army. I mean, Dogal was with 79, but I don't know what happened with Miguel in this game. 109 villages. Jordan, 138. 138. Insane. And the economy difference? Just check and enjoy. Oof. We love this game.